to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you so much for clicking on this video and giving it a watch. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my YouTube family. Also, don't forget to hit that bell button because then you're notified every time I upload a new video. Don't forget to hit that like button as well as leave a comment down below because all of those things do help my channel grow. Today for you, I do have a Dollar Tree haul. I am in a different location. I'm on my front porch. My backyard doesn't have enough sun. It's kind of dark in my backyard area and my husband is cleaning the floors um, inside the house. And so I was like, you know what? Let's just take it outside. So we have some sounds of nature. There's some birds chirping. And if you're picking up the sound of the carpet cleaner, that's what's going on inside. So I figured I'd come out here real fast. Um, it is currently Friday before Easter. I don't know when you're going to see this. You might see it Sunday. You might see it Monday. Because um, there's a few Easter items in here that I picked up. Um, and I need to show them. I need to show a lot of this stuff. All this stuff before Easter. Because it's stuff that I'm using. Um, not all of it's Easter items. But it's stuff that I'm using for Easter. So let's get started. First of all, um, I went to a couple different stores. I was looking for a particular item. You'll see that here in a second. But they also had uh, the Easter items from the plus section, 50% off. And so I picked this up to add into Lorelei's Easter basket since it was only $2.50. It lights up. It says that it has 10 LED lights. It says it's an LED candle. But it says 10 LED candle, 10 white LED lights in here. So for $2.50, I thought that that would be cute to add into her Peeps basket. Um, so I grabbed that. I also, we're doing brunch at our house for Easter, and so I picked up another one of these cupcake holders. I'm using one as a tear tray, but I figure I'll use this one. Uh, I don't think we're going to do cupcakes, but we're going to do like pastries and stuff for brunch. And so I thought I could use this to put on the table for some sort of goodies that are going with our brunch that we're doing with the family. And again, for $2.50. Of course, I'm going to do that. Sorry about the sunglasses too. Literally, the sun is like right here shining on me. And I don't have any makeup on today. So we are double dutying it that way and wearing sunglasses. Um, I picked up two of these. Now it's after Easter, so these probably don't matter. Or they're on clearance now for you guys. But they're the little bunnies. These are not bunnies. Little carrot chocolates um, that I'm going to put in to eggs or baskets or something so I grabbed two of them they are the double crisp chocolates which I feel like is everything I picked up was double crisp chocolates so that's what the kids are gonna get for my nephews I had forgotten when I was out shopping the first time for their Easter baskets I wanted to toss in some cute sunglasses for them I got the baby's little pink ones for both of the boys I got a pair of black kid sunglasses and then a pair of blue ones so you have probably already seen their Easter baskets because I plan on posting that but um, this is in there there's an airplane going by now so I live close to the airport so you're hearing that I'm sorry um, for Lorelai I got her a chocolate covered peeps I I may or may not have may or may not have already picked one of these up for her but she was literally talking about them one day about how good they are so i wanted to make sure that she got one in her basket and then i think this is the last actual easter item i finally found the pink cup and so now each of the girls are going to get a straw cup i got a purple a pink and a yellow um i have an extra purple but that's fine so um each of the girls i'm going to do like their initials with the cricket on it and then each of them have their own cup to use on Easter. I had mentioned that um, I couldn't find anything for the boys. So what I did end up finding were these. Um, these are little snack holder water bottles. These are new to me. I don't think I've seen these exact ones yet, but you can open the bottom like this and put a little snack in there and then you can screw it on there so it can be a drink and a snack. And so I did pick up all four of the colors. So there was green, orange, red, and blue so I got all four of them because they will with my boys there's four boys all together so um, I'm gonna do one for each of the boys um, I might have to do their full names because I have two E's so um, I'll probably yeah have to do boys I might do the girls full names too at this point since I'm doing one for everybody and then the boys can take those home with them 
these are actually I think from the kind of Easter right now too yeah they have little Easter eggs on them they're the Oliver's chocolate covered pretzels I have not tried these I'm sure I'd like them because I like flips and stuff but um I got one three of them all together because I'm doing Easter baskets for my grandma my grandpa and my parents and just little like little not much of nothing because they're all grown-ups but um, I want to give them a little something too since I'm doing something for the kids I guess the only people I'm missing is my brother brother and sister-in-laws but they'll be fine um, so I was going to put that in their little Easter baskets because they look yummy. I picked up another one of these. I picked one up for my grandma, one up for my grandpa, and then I wanted to do one for my parents. So I was glad to pick or find them again. They're by the Lamberts and they're Bellina Fine Shortbread Cookies with European Dark Chocolate. They sound delicious. So um, I'm going to put that one in for my parents. For my grandpa, I picked him up some cornbread. Um, I made him kind of a snacky basket, so I think the cornbread will be just something yummy and extra in there. So I grabbed one of these. For my mom and dad, I picked up some moose munch. My dad loves moose munch. And so they had the caramel and the dark chocolate um, at the store I went to. These expire in October and November of this year. So plenty of time for him to have those as a little snack. I picked up this McLaren um, probably for an Easter egg or for Braxton's basket one or the other because he likes McLarens. He likes like the sporty cars and so I thought that he would probably like that so I grabbed it. Sorry the shadowing the lighting here is it's natural so you work with what you got. And then I have a pack of Pop Rocks already. I got Braxton a pack of the sour warhead ones and then so either eric or lorelei are going to get the kool-aid ones so someone's going to get pop rocks someone's going to get the kool-aid popping candy and braxton's getting the warheads popping candy so they each will get something the same but different so i picked that up now for my mom and my dad's easter basket i picked up the gold little wired basket you've seen these they've been around my mom is decorating our house in blacks, whites, grays, and golds. And so this little wire basket I think is really cute and I think she'll like it. So I'm gonna put all their stuff in this for their little Easter basket. Now for the stuff that I was really excited to find. This is what I was on the hunt for. I went to three stores looking, my neighbor is coming home so you might hear some noise, um, looking for these items. Before I get there though, so these are for the green chili basket that I'm making for my sister-in-law. It's the prize basket. You've probably already seen that or you'll be seeing it soon. But I wanted some tortilla chips. I've never seen these before, but they're manufactured by Brickles Snack Foods, Inc. Um, and they had yellow corn and white corn chips. So I picked up the white corn ones. I like these because they're kind of a smaller bag of chips, which will fit better in my basket because it's a very full basket full of lots of other stuff. So picked that up to go in there. Um, I had seen someone haul this and I was like, that would be a really fun addition. It is cilantro lime seasoning. It's by Kaloana is the brand. Um, it says in New Jersey, packed in the USA. Um, I'll probably pick another one of these up for us here at our house, but right now I was just worried about getting this basket done, so I grabbed one, but I thought that that would be a fun addition to the green chili prize basket. And now I was hunting for the Cinco de Mayo setup. I found these. They are the mini hats, so it's a three pack of little sombreros, and I'm probably going to sprinkle these around into the basket. I think that they'll look really cute in there. Um, so I got those. And I was so looking for these trays. I got the sombrero, it says plate. I'm gonna assume like a chip tray or I mean really anything. If you're having a little party, you can put anything out on it that fits. But I really, really wanted this for the basket. I didn't even know that this one was one of them, but they have a green chili or a jalapeno tray. Um, it's also just called plate um, on here. So. I really, really wanted that one. And then the salsa little chili like kind of dip cup. So I had to get that. Like I felt like these were absolutely perfect for a green chili gift basket. So glad that they came out right on time. It's literally right now Friday at like almost 5 p.m. And she needs the basket in 24 hours. So like it was the last minute. And I went to three stores today trying to find these. And they were at the third store I went to. 
thank goodness that's where I thought they were gonna be but I ended up on the side of town with the two other stores and so I circled around and it was a thing um you'll be seeing these again because I'm gonna be hauling them for me too so I'll share them again in a later haul as well but so excited to find those and then being the the theme that it is I thought that a juicer a citrus squeezer just kind of made sense in there I have the stuff for margarita mixes margarita glasses and that stuff so I thought that this would be just a cute little addition in there um, for that basket and now not Dollar Tree but I wanted to show you I mean kind of Dollar Tree so my friend has a, my very bestest friend has a business it's called genuinely created it's always listed down in the description box she does wood forging I think that's what it's called where she like does the embossing kind of stuff into like wood products and she also is really good at doing vinyl and stuff and so I had bought these two items at Dollar Tree and I gave her a call and said hey would you be willing to help me out with your services and so here's the little cutting board it's the cutting concepts cutting board from Dollar Tree and she added on the little chili on there. How cute did that come out to go into this basket? Like, that is so cute. So, love that. And then I got the spoon. And so the spoon came out like this. Green Chili Champion 2023. And she did that for me with her for forger for I think that's what it is her wood forger again she's linked down in the description box so if you want to like custom order anything from her you just need to reach out to her and she ships so um, you can absolutely do that and then this apron was on my Timu haul because um, I picked it up for like a little over a dollar and she um, did the vinyl on here for me that says green chili champion 2023 with the two chilies on it so super super excited to get this basket all put together i'm going to go inside now i um did some wording on the mugs so keep an eye out i'll actually add the green chili basket on the end of this video that's what i'm going to do i'm going to do the green chili basket as well as the easter baskets that i'm putting together for my nieces and nephews all at the end of this video so then that way you can see them all all put together so keep an eye out that should be coming up next I'm gonna go actually work on them so it's gonna be a little while before you see them but they're coming around next so um, I'm gonna just go ahead and tell you guys goodbye but stick around wait until you see those thank you again for being here I appreciate you guys all so much I hope you're having an amazing Easter I hope that everything is going really well for you and I can't wait until I see you next time bye guys all right, I'm going to give you guys the lowdown of the green chili prize gift basket that I'm putting together. So you've seen everything hauled. It's just been all separated. So let me show you real fast all of it together. First is that basket. That was actually a basket that I won for a raffle, but I thought it would be perfect for this because it's nice and big and I have a lot of stuff. I bought this apron on Timu. It was like $1.69, I think. And then my best friend from Genuinely Created, I mentioned that earlier in the haul, used um, vinyl and put on the Green Chili Champion on there for me because that was exactly what I had envisioned for the apron. Now over here to our nice full table of fun stuff, let's just do a quick recap of everything. We got a dish towel. This came from Dollar Tree. It says cook, eat, and be happy. I liked the color of it. It was the one that fit the best. We got some snacks throughout the table. This one is the Three Amigos Elodi Mexican Street Corn snack mix. It looks so good. Got some Tums hidden down here because that just seems like it's perfect. The trophy i used the cricket and i put on here green chili champion 2023 but it's reversible on the other side you just get bragging rights on that i got a lemon juicer the sombrero chip plate i found that today very last minute but i was on the hunt for that and a couple of the other items including the salsa bowl and the chili platter I did Cricut these two cups. I don't know if they're showing well. That one says winner, winner, chili dinner. And the other one says bowl of deliciousness. Um, I just did that for fun. Turn these on. I got these cute chili lights 
from Timu for, I think they were $2 or something like that, so super inexpensive. We have a ladle here. Uh, my best friend also used her wood forge, made the spoon that is like the trophy, but it says Grand Chili Champion. It looks amazing. The two margarita mixes from Dollar Tree. Um, and so I needed to buy some tequila. And then my sister-in-law's favorite, I believe, is Fireball, so I grabbed one of those to toss in there. I thought the cilantro lime seasoning just seemed to really fit, plus two different types of hot sauce. We have the margarita glasses. This pair of socks came from Timu. I have these two that came from Dollar Tree. The cute little keychain from Timu with the peppers on it. And then this board that my best friend also forged the chili on the corner, which looks amazing. Some spicy almonds, the Tijan peach rings, these cute little sombreros. I'll probably take them out of the package and mix them throughout and kind of put them in there. Hopefully that's like my idea. And then tortilla chips. I think that's everything. I don't think I missed anything. So that's everything that's going to be going into this basket. So hopefully it all fits because I ended up with quite a bit. The final cost of everything is roughly $50. I think I went slightly over, but only by a couple dollars. So um, right around $50 for everything because that was my price point. So um, come back here in just a second. I guess it'll be a split second for you, but I'm gonna get it all put together and then show you the finished product. And here's the finished basket all put together. We stuck the apron in front so that it shows the, the prize, the trophy right in the middle, of course, and then just so many goodies all throughout. I did put the little keychain as part of the tie and I topped it with a little sombrero. You can see the spoon in there, the trays in the back. So everything fit. It was a tight squeeze because it was an amazing fun basket, but we got it all in. So this is it. All right, I think I will show you guys all my Easter baskets that I made for the kiddos, my grandparents, parents, and nieces and nephews. So first of all, I'll show you my kiddos finished Easter baskets. This one's Braxton's. It was kind of gamer themed-ish, kind of techy themed. You're going to notice how spoiled rotten my kids are. So this basket is filled to the bottom. There's a t-shirt at the bottom, kind of is what I used to hold it up. And I collected everything in here from Dollar Tree, um, a couple Target, Timu, and let's see, there's a Walmart in there. So just kind of been collecting. He's been wanting to set up a gaming system kind of area. So I got this tablet holder in here and a phone stand because he's been making makeshift ones as well as like a little selfie stick tripod thing. I got him some LED headphones. This one right here is an LED mouse pad. We got him a rechargeable mouse that lights up. Some of the little Dollar Tree lights are in there candy stylus pen the next level gamer poster this led globe light from dollar tree some more candy um so yeah just some fun kind of gamer stuff he's been grounded so hopefully he gets off grounded so he can use it the candy theme in his has been warheads because that's what he's been really into and then on timu a while back i did pick up this little classic nintendo gaming thing for him so that's kind of not fitting in there, so it's to the side. Um, they all got flip-flops, you'll see, and they all got a blanket of some sort. So his is kind of tucked here in the back and hanging out because I didn't really have any other room for it. So here's Braxton's, and let me show you the next one. Here's Lorelai's basket, same problem. Too many things, not enough room. Hers is a Peeps-themed basket. She saw me making the one for a donation, and that's what she wanted, so... That's what I put together for her. There's also a little bit of a corgi mix in, in there too because she likes corgis. But hers too, fill to the bottom. This is a little Peep stuffy with a blanket attached to it from Walmart. Um, outside we have the Peep string lights. And then this cute little light that I got just the other day at 50% off because they went on sale. So $2.50. And there's a cotton candy in there, but here's the other one because I couldn't get it to fit. Her candy theme is Peeps. Um, so all kinds of Peeps flavored candy. All the kids got a Mr. Beast bar because they really like those. 
So each of them did get one of those. She wanted a little portable speaker, Bluetooth speaker thing. So I picked that up at five below. This little mini peeps I got from Timu. It's so cute in there. This little cup came from Walmart. Uh, most most everything is Dollar Tree, five below. Um, some Timu, maybe some Target, and some Walmart. So um, this is the LED Hello light. You can't really see it in there, but it's the one that says Hello because they each got a little LED light in theirs. There's a Corgi mouse pad in there, as well as a Corgi pop socket, some Corgi socks, um, all kinds of candy, some flip-flops on the side. Like I said, they all got a blanket, hers is tucked into the bottom, and lots and lots of peep stuff. So it's filled to the brim, from the bottom to the brim. So that one is Lorelei's. Next, I'll show you Eric's. And here's Eric's basket. I did manage to fit everything into his basket. His is dinosaur themed, Jurassic World kind of dinosaur. That's what he wanted. Um, I did add in this little hat that I picked up at Dollar Tree for a dollar. It's camo in case he ever wants to wear that. He has some dinosaurs hanging out on top. All the kids also did get an Easter bunny tucked inside. You probably couldn't see it on all of them because, well, they're too full. Um, we got a little kind of dig kit in here from five below so he can get the whatever um, artifacts I don't know whatever they put in these ones all kinds of uh, Jurassic World stuff from Dollar Tree we got candy in here from five below he was enthralled by the Choco Rocks that were in my donation basket so I made sure to get him one of those this is like a little prize thing that has seven toy and candy surprises down at the bottom holding his up is a pizza blanket so the blanket that's pizza doesn't necessarily go with the dino theme, but I wanted to give them each a blanket, and I thought the pizza one was too cute. He loves pizza, so it makes perfect sense. Pop socket. He's got some flip-flops in here, too, that are dino. They all got popping candy. He got the Pop Rocks. There was a Kool-Aid one and a Sour one, too, Warheads one that the other two got. So here's Eric's basket all put together. Um, yeah, super full, spoiled rotten children, but I do it. I love doing it. So, all right, I'm going to show you my nieces and nephews baskets. Next. Here's the baskets for my nieces here in front. They each got a little hat and a little purse. They just remind me of Easter hats and Easter purses. So darn cute from when mine were little, but you know, they all get bigger. I guess just the one because the boys, that's, that's not the boy thing. So this one is for Daisy. I did the little bunny basket for her. We got the sunglasses, a little bunny, some little outside toys, a little bit of candy. There's a book and the ears in there. And I got her the little purse. And then this one is for Maxine. All pretty much the same stuff. Instead of the little purse, she got like little toy pizza that I got from Timu because they are a big pizza family. So I thought that that would be really, really cute. So that's what I did pick up for the babies. Um, I also have cups that I made for them with their names on them, the straw cups, but they're on the drying rack drying right now, so we can use them for drinks tomorrow. So it's currently Saturday. You're probably not seeing this Saturday, but um, let me show you the boys. And here's the boys' baskets. This one's for Eli. I got him the basketball little hoop basket that I think is so cute. The toys are pretty similar in both of them. They each got a little throwing football thing, some chalk. The carrot spinner, a little bug catcher, and a 3D art thing, as well as a little bit of candy and some sunglasses. There's a little differing that he got a little basketball hoop in his, where Prescott got a bug collector in his. But um, slightly different, pretty much the same for both of them. And so that's what I did do for my nephews right there. So I think that that's super fun. Hopefully they like them. And now let me show you the grown-up Easter baskets. And here's the baskets I got for the grown-ups. This one is for my grandma. She likes to color, so there's three coloring books in there, some gel pens, colored pencils, and a few snacks. Just really simple, but just a little bit of something to say that I'm thinking about her. And same for my grandpa. He just got snacks. I don't think he really needs anything altogether, so he got some corn muffins, cookies, little snack treats, um, a meat stick thing, just just fun little snacks and then for my parents my mom always complains that her floor is dusty so um, the Easter grass in there is actually little dusting socks um, just kind of for fun just to be silly 
I got them the letter M and then some snacks, some cookies, the pretzels, and the Harry and David's snack mixes. So just a little something for each of them to say Happy Easter and that I love them. I thought I would put that together. So guys, that is all the baskets that I put together for my life, not for donations. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks again. I hope you're having an amazing Easter. I can't wait until I see you guys next time. You have a good one. Bye, guys.